y'all welcome back to broken barbie tv and today we have a very special never been done fashion show video for you guys before we get into that i just wanted to give a quick shout out to one of our viewers right here sandra fitz she said i'm sad you don't like ugly dolls they have feelings too every doll is beautiful to somebody enjoying your videos even though you don't like uglies I thought her comment was really hilarious and um, she's right. Ugly dolls are beautiful to somebody out there. Well, not me because I'm beautiful to everybody. Anyways, let's get started. Today we have some clothing that we want to show you guys that was sent to us from one of our viewers. Her YouTube name is Granny Chic. Thank you so much for sending us these really unique outfits and we're going to show what they look like. So stay tuned. First, we have Dahlia Don is here and he is wearing some shorts that were made by Granny Chic. I like that the shorts are actually quite long. They go past his knees. And that's something that I feel Mattel needs to work on with their men's clothing. Because I feel like the shorts are always too short on the guys. Uh, maybe it's just me. The pants don't have a Velcro closure. So they're elastic at the waist. So you can just slide them on and off. And despite having a very simple cut and design, the print on the fabric makes the pants quite interesting. I love printed pants for guys. Printed pants on men just fascinate me. I think they look so cool. So I really like this look. That is our first ever male model showing off some clothes on Broken Barbie TV. Pretty cool. Next, let's have a look at Enid's outfit. She is wearing a really interesting dress that has Family Guy cast members printed on it. This is pretty unique. What makes this more significant to me is that Family Guy is actually one of Adonis's favorite shows. I don't know, had we ever mentioned that we like Family Guy? I'm not sure, I don't remember mentioning it, but Granny Chic definitely hit the nail on its head with this particular dress design. This one opens with Velcro in the back, and also I happen to pair it with just a simple belt to break up the patterns a little bit. It fits pretty good on this curvy body type and I really like that. Um, I always love finding stuff that fits good on the curvy dolls. The stitch work is pretty well done. Enid, thank you, thank you. Here is Marley rocking this very pretty feminine look. And this particular one, although similar to the last one, it does not actually have an opening, so you have to slide it over the doll's uh, body to get it on from the bottom to the top. And I also put a little belt around her with this particular dress. And here's what the pattern looks like up close. It's like stripes of blue and white. It goes down to her knees. My favorite part about this are the sleeves. I love the lace sleeves and I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the channel either but I do really really like lace I just love the way that it looks and I think it's so feminine and girly uh, even though I normally don't like girly things but for some reason I don't know what it is about lace but I've always liked lace and it is the hardest fabric to take care of in the wash but I freaking love lace even if I only get three or four wears out of it I will figure out a way to work some lace into my wardrobe <laughs> Thanks, Marley. Finally, we've got Delilah. She is wearing a tube dress. The dress is dark pink, and they have little horse prints on them. I like how the portion of the dress that goes over the chest is separated from the rest of it. Like there's a little, you know, it's like a different part of the dress. So I think that looks pretty cool and I want to see what it looks like paired with a jacket real quick. Alright, so Delilah has on a pink jacket and I love the way the jacket looks with the dress. It definitely looks like something a real person would wear outside. And also, this dress does not have an opening in the back. 
it's very stretchy material so it slides right over her legs and hopefully it stretches enough for me to rock it on some of my Kirby dolls too that would be awesome so that's the last look thanks Delilah let's thank our models for rocking these beautiful outfits today and again very special thank you to Granny Chic who provided us with these looks the clothes are very nice and the Broken Barbie team definitely will get some use out of these outfits. So stay tuned for upcoming episodes of Broken Barbie Show where these outfits will make their way into our wardrobe. I'm Gypsy, you're watching Broken Barbie TV, and this has been another episode of Fly Dolls. Make sure you're following us on Instagram because we do live videos over there every week. And if you're not already, then you should be subscribed, derf. Right, guys? Yeah, they agree internally. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out more videos coming your way really soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a dolly day.